So, the next video is about me, what happened to me, uh, how I lost my car. Uh, about three weeks ago, I was in the parking lot of the shop right park on the Marshall side. Now, I had gotten a, a no trespassing uh, ordinance because I was doing light art in that place, and the property manager said, you can't do that in here, you know, hanging stuff by the tree that I was posting uh, pictures of, and it was the totems that, that brought in energy and brought in spirits to, to help uh, heal uh, and help, like really, uh, more than anything else, help other other star seeds to activate other star seeds so they can help me in this process of trying to you know change the course of humanity we're on a <laughs> you, you, you guys you guys I'm not human but you guys are on a fucking one way one way road to into into a brick wall and if you don't change course and stop charging each other to live uh, you know and start profiting up from each other and start you know Two things that, again, two things that, that really, it's, it's taking care of the planet and taking care of you know, Mother Earth and, and taking care of uh, each other. Uh, what tribal cultures uh, had as their commandments, you know, it's, take care of Mother Earth and how the you bring her, you know, and take care of each other as, as because I, every other person is just a, you know, a Jew, is you. You are them and they are you. So I was in the parking lot, seeing that, no, I was driving people around to make a little extra money. I was doing something called gypsy cabbing in New York. There's something called gypsy cabs where you're not part of any Uber or any kind of like real cab company, but you just, you know, you just going out there and picking up people and then dropping them off. And whatever they do, they do, you know. And, you know, I put my blinders on and it's up to them. It's, you know, it's, it's you know, what you do. It's, it's, it's why you do it, you know, because, you know, <laughs> they don't want to use a regular cab company or they're, they're too expensive and you're, you're going in cheaper because you don't have to pay, you know, ridiculous fees. So, um, I was in the parking lot, and um, someone must have called the police. I'm not sure who did. And most of most of the times, the times that I've been there, the cops see me in there, and they just kind of like, you know, oh, you got to get out of here. You're not supposed to be in here. I'll leave. Well, this time, though, the police officer decided to to come and and arrest me. So as he pulled me out of the car, he says, "I'm gonna I'm gonna have to search your car." Search my car. Oh, this is, no, you're not allowed to search my car. I'm, I'm not that I had anything in there, but just in case, I you know. So I waited. They called the dogs, and this time they actually had me sitting inside the, the police car. Uh, they were going to arrest me for for trespassing, uh, but in this case, they called they they they, they called the good dogs. The dogs dog sniffed something. Hmm. All of a sudden, I had four hundred dollars in my pocket because I had just sold something. Uh, a sub piece of equipment from my studio, so I had four one dollars in my pocket. Uh, all of a sudden, they found seven bags of stuff. They, first, they said it was crystal meth, and they said it was cracked, and I never, I never really got got exactly what it was. But whatever it was, it wasn't mine. I told them it wasn't mine. Somebody set me up. Um, now, I had, was choked by some man um, back in March, um, and this guy um, he choked me and he sent me to the hospital for six days. Um, he uh, he came up behind me, choked me, put me in a, in a chokehold. I passed out. I hit the floor. Got a concussion over my right ear, um, a skull fracture, and then um, and uh, bruised ribs, uh, you know, body aches. Um. So I was in the hospital for six days, and um, I still can't hear. I, my right ear is still is still not not. I can't hear that well. I'm right here. There's stuff crawling in there. So I'm thinking they found seven I've been driving people around they said seven bags this guy that, that that did this to me this guy that that that, that choked me I, I I'm I don't call the police on anything but the police were like you know this guy almost killed you blah 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 and they're right you know maybe maybe you know I shouldn't this guy shouldn't be allowed to do it to anybody else he's got a bad ang bad temper you know I didn't really I had no idea I put my I put my back on him which I never do I'll never do it again to anybody else and from now on I anybody that's that's that even looks threatening to me I, I put my back against the wall and I watch them very carefully they're not gonna be behind me again I'm thinking this guy set some set me up he put he, he, he made me drive some I was driving somebody and somebody put seven bags of shit in my car no and then called the police on me and then knowing knowing that they called the police and knowing that I had stuff in the car, me not knowing it, uh, uh, all of a sudden, I got arrested. And I got charged for distribution because I had $400 in my pocket and they found seven bags of something in my car. It wasn't my stuff. I don't, I don't, I'm not that stupid to leave seven bags of anything in my car, uh, much less you know, stuff that I don't, I don't do, number one. 
And number two, you know, stuff that, that you know, was, uh, could, would, would get me, like, in trouble. I would never do that. <laughs> but they, they, somebody, somebody did it without me knowing it and got me arrested. So I spent five days in county for that. My car was sitting in the impound lot. I mean, excuse me, was sitting in 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 in, uh, in in the star in the in the Marshall's parking lot, on the, old, the 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 shop right parking lot on the Marshall, the old Marshall side, in that parking lot. It was sitting there for three days, and then all of a sudden they called, and got my car impounded. Now my car was impounded for two days. When I get out of town, I expect my car to be there. It's not there. So I call, I call frantically that night. I call frantically trying to find my car. Next day, I call frantically. And I finally found out this this guy from SRS uh, Auto Expo. Auto uh, SRS. Oh, I can't find it now. Uh, uh, SRS Auto Auto something. It's a towing company, and you'll see it on my website. See me on my my, my Facebook page. I just posted it. So this guy, I call him up, and for two days in my car, he wants eleven hundred dollars. Eleven hundred dollars—that's crazy. I don't have eleven hundred dollars. I get a social security check once a month. I get a little bit of extra money from driving people around. I don't have any money now because I don't have a car. So, 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 so now, so now I don't have any extra money. I don't have eleven hundred dollars to give you. So I call the police and say this guy stole my car. And they said, No, no, it was towed. But there's no signs here saying I can't keep the car here indefinitely. There's no car. There's no signs here saying that 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 my car. You know, shouldn't shouldn't be here. So so he keeps the car, and I said I can't I can't I can't afford it. I'm trying to figure out what to do. It's been three weeks now. Finally, one of my one of my friends says, you know what? I, I, I'll I'll pay for the car. Just get it out. Find out how much it is that you owe, and I'll get it out for you. Because you know I was sleeping in the car. That's the thing. When I when I went homeless in January. I, I, you know, out of, out of, you know, I, I got thrown out of my house in, 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 in June by my ex-girlfriend. I was then living out of my, 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 my center, my, my studio uh, in Bradley Beach, uh, where I did sound healing work. I was partially living out there, partially living in hotels in my car, and, 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 um, you know, um, but by January, they evicted me from that place because of noise complaints, and because of the woman upstairs complaining about noise, and, she moved in and she was oh you know it's making too much noise I was like well, yeah but you moved over a sound healing studio you moved into a place where I play drums and I play gongs and I play all these things did you not expect to have to hear what would you consider noise living upstairs I mean, why don't you go move somewhere out west why did you have to move above me you know above my business that I was there for six years and I was there for six years and I would I would pay the rent me and Mara who owned it and then me by myself I paid the rent every fucking month on time and then and then and then because of this I was evicted. So January, by January, I was homeless. I was living out of my car. By the time they they put me in my car, I had nowhere to live. So for the last three, four weeks now, I've been literally um, living wherever I, you know, sleeping wherever I can. So my friend goes, no, 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 that's that's not cool. He just found out about that. I said, you know what? I'll pay for it. I'll, whatever it is, you know, he figured it's going to be two, three thousand dollars. He'll, he'll dish it out, and then I can give it to him a little, a little a month. Well, I call him today. And he wants eight thousand five hundred dollars from me for the car. I said, "What? The car is worth. The car is worth. I paid. I paid eighteen thousand for the car. I put ten thousand down and I had eight thousand dollar loan. You now want to charge me eight thousand dollars to get the car out? That would make the car then. Then I paid twenty six thousand dollars for it. Are you fucking crazy? It's not even worth twelve thousand dollars." You know, at this point, I paid eighteen thousand for eighteen thousand dollars for in January. By this time, I started seeing, I started watching, I started seeing like 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 what's the trading value of the car? And they, they wouldn't they wouldn't give me like eleven, twelve thousand dollars for the car at this point. So I said, No, I'm not paying you eight thousand dollars. You fucking crazy, man. He say, he does this letter. You see it? It's the it's the uh, it's backwards. I think uh, whatever. It's this letter to the Mo New Jersey Motor Vehicle Commission saying that. Uh, this is to advise you that your your, your vehicle Honda CRV is deemed to have been abandoned at 50, 1950 Rutgers University Boulevard Garage Six Lake, New Jersey, on July twenty eighth. That's not what happened. He was in a shop right parking lot. He's 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 lying. The the, the guy the guy the the the, the, the company that the towing company SRS uh, SRS uh, uh, Auto something 
Uh, and I'm going to put it in the in the in the in the in the, uh, in the description later on exactly where it is. And I'm actually gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna uh, tag them on it too so they know. This guy put this thing in there saying. 1915 I, I, and they, they, and he basically what he wants to do is he's he trying to get the lien on this car, and this is a uh, a vehicle is deemed to be abandoned if it's left in prior property without the consent of the owner or the person in control of possession of the property for a period in excess of that which consent was given, except for the case of emergency. And emergency was my case. I was, I was, uh, I was locked up in jail. I couldn't, I couldn't get to the car. I'm therefore, by means of this certified return receipt requesting mailing, notifying you that of my intent to sell the vehicle unless you and, and or lien holder reclaim the possession of the vehicle within 90 days of the letter, this letter, upon payment of the reasonable cost of removal and storage of the vehicle and expenses incurred pursuant to the provision of the act. He wants $8,000 $8, for holding my car for three weeks, man. That's ridiculous. He won $1,100 three weeks ago and Fifty dollars a day, supposedly, to hold the car, but that doesn't add up to eight thousand dollars. So at this point, he wants eight thousand dollars, and so this is a scam. This motherfucker scammed me. I'm a disabled person. I, I, I've, I've, I've been disabled since I got Guillain Barre syndrome in, uh, in, in 20, 2012, and and I'm, I still feel the, the, the effects of Guillain Barre syndrome on my body. Um, this man is trying to scam me out of eight thousand dollars. So I call this number at the Motor Vehicles Commission and I ask her, and I tell her what, 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 what this says and how it's like, you know, the, the, even the address over here where supposedly the, the car was left. I didn't leave it there. I left it in the shop right parking lot and it was only for two days, not 90 days. Uh, he's been holding it hostage and demanding a ransom of $1,100 at first and now it's up to $8,000. Uh, I sold to her and she goes, oh, the, you know, this is, this is probably a scam. She gave me a number of, a, of, a, of, a, of, of the... Uh, of this other uh, sec another bureau that does uh, that checks that checks for, for, for scams like this uh, so I'm gonna be calling in tomorrow and reporting this guy as a scam artist and he's trying to scam me out of eight thousand um, dollars I'm um, I so that's what I'm doing there um, for him for, for the for, for the uh, department the New Jersey Motor Vehicle Commission New Jersey Motor Vehicle Commission uh, that's what I'm doing for him Making sure they know that this guy's a scam artist and he's scamming me out of $8,000, number one. And number two, I called Wells Fargo, where I have an $8,000 loan with them. And they said to me, well, uh, what we can do is that we can, you can rep repossess the car and then we'll go and pay it. I said, wait a second, you're going to pay $8,000 for to, to, you, you, and then you're going to tack it onto my loan. So you mean I'm going to have a loan for $16,000? And I put $10,000, so I put pay $26,000 for a car that's not even worth $12,000? And she said, oh, well, maybe not. It's like, oh, I'll put you into the executive. And then they put me into another branch where well, then they're going to do an investigation on this guy. And they're going to see that, uh, show, me, show me a reason that you want $8,000 for this car. I said to them, if it's a couple of thousand dollars, take the car back, stick the $2,000 on top of my $8,000 loan, and then I'll then I, then I, then I, then I continue the payments and you can give me the car back. And I, and I continue the payments. But if not, I'm not going to pay $8,000, $16,000 for a loan for a car that's even that's not even worth twelve thousand, I said keep the car. I lost ten thousand dollars, and that's 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 my that's my loss. But I'm not going to on top of the ten thousand. I'm not going to stick another eight thousand dollars on there to lose, you know. So at this point, um, I've got both. I'm going to be calling the New Jersey Motor Vehicle Commission, right? making sure that they know that this guy is scamming me out of eight thousand dollars, right? And he's, they said that they have. Yeah, it's usually, usually a, it's a, it's a, it's a division that, that works with dealers that are trying to scam people. Uh, so they're, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna see if they can, what they can do about that. Right? She said to me, just on this letter saying, I refuse this, and send it back into the, into the New Jersey vehicle and say, I refuse to, to them, for them, to them to, to give up the lien, to give up the lose. The, the lien company, which is Wells Fargo down here, they're, they're now going to go and, and do an investigation on this guy as well to make sure that this, uh, that this car... Uh, and what he's doing to me is legal because where where I want to show I want to see how where he can prove even for two days eleven hundred dollars is ridiculous but for 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 three weeks uh, uh, for three weeks eight thousand dollars for a car that's not even worth twelve thousand dollars that has an eight thousand dollar loan on it how he can justify that and scamming me out of money this is what money does to people this is what they do I wasted my whole day calling numbers about this guy. Between this and my ex-girlfriend and what she did to me with the house, 
and how and how she's refusing me to get mail there. This this is this is what money does. It turns people into 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 vultures, which is what these people are. And it turns and it makes you waste your fucking time. Right? My whole day was wasted. This is a waste of time. I go dancing in the parking lot and do my light art. That to me is, oh man, I'm, I'm making the best of my time left on this fucking stupid, miserable planet of, of, of vultures and, and, and parasites that suck the blood out of you and, then, and, and how you teach your children to profit from each other and, and rip each other off in life. For all for money. Money more important than human life. Right? And, then, and, then, and then I wasted all my time today with this. And now I'm making these videos because I want to make sure that I send this video to the to the jerk off that fucking that 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 doesn't because he sent he put a whole bunch of posts on my on my one of my videos saying well you deserve it hippie he called me a hippie he called me a, a, a freak and I said no don't worry things will come back to you just like instant karma you know when John Lennon says instant karma instant karma or that you know that that you know what you know what, what it was called uh, you know law of attraction where what you put out comes back to you because whatever because what I'm telling you right now if he takes ownership of that car. And tries to sell it, that car is then cursed because my spirit guides are then being, are being sent to that car, and and they will do everything in their power to 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 make sure that car, whoever buys it, is then cursed from until they own that car. That is literally like the, the what's that the monkey the monkey's the monkey's paw where you know you get that, that story about the monkey's paw when you get the monkey's paw you get those wishes but then afterwards you know those wishes to turn into like fucking really bad shit because it's and you curse until you end up giving that monkey's paw to somebody else. Same thing, that car. Is now, and the same thing happened to the studio in Bradley Beach. I saw. I told them, well, if you evict me, you're never going to be able to rent this place, because I'm pulling my positive energy, and it's going to be a whole, a whole, a hole here. Unless you know how to fill that up with positive energy again, that's going to attract negative energy, and that negative energy is going to stay there, and you'll never rent this place again. And if you go by 315, 316 Bradley Beach, uh, 316 Main Street Bradley Beach, where my center was, you'll see a big sign on the window that says "For Rent." Yeah. I was evicted in January, and now it's it's September, and it still has not been rented. Why? Because nobody wants to rent that place. When you walk in that place, you see it. And the same thing with that car. And whoever buys that car is going to feel that negative energy. And whoever tries to build it and fix it up and then try to sell it, they're going to have bad luck with it. And then when they sell it off to the person, whoever buys it is going to have bad. So if you see a, a 2013 Honda CRV being sold at auction by, by this, this company called SRS Auto something, uh, I can't remember the rest of it, but I'll, I'll have it in the I'll have it in the I'll have it in the uh, in the description, uh, and I have a link to their website too. Uh, if you see a car being being sold by them, and it's a blue Honda CRV 2013, beware because that thing is cursed, and it will be cursed um, from from now. And yeah, and whoever and the guy who's watching this, uh, uh, Jacques, whatever his fucking name was, uh, uh, John Guerrero, whatever his name is. Dude, I guarantee you, what you've done to me with this car, it will come back to you 10 times over. It's the law of attraction. It's like a boomerang. You send the boomerang out, it comes right back to you, right? If you send that boomerang of negative energy, it's gonna, positive energy comes back to you. Negative energy is going to come back and slice your head right off, man. You know, not, not to say that it would, but you know, I'm just, just a, a metaphor. But um, that's the law of attraction. So what you've done to me is you've ripped off uh, uh, a homeless, out of work, disabled musician. You've ripped off a homeless, out of work, disabled musician for eight thousand dollars. That's how much you're trying to, and, and, and you left me homeless because that car was the only thing I was able to sleep in, and you left me homeless for the last three weeks. So I guarantee you, um, what you've done to me. We'll come back to you a hundred times over. And every time you try to sell that car and take possession of that car, <laughs> with your greedy little fucking fat little hands, uh, that, that, that possession that you have of the car will bring in so many negative spirits and so much negative energy that you will feel like you're fucking choking from them. Good luck with that, bro. And good luck with... Uh, the uh, New Jersey Motor Vehicle Commission, their their special the 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 special department on on uh, on fraud, and and uh, Wells Fargo, who I called today, and their special uh, division of fraud, and how they're gonna get you, uh, let's see, um, to to explain why you you are charging me, a homeless, out of work, 
disabled musician. Hmm? Uh, $8,000 to put your car in your garage and keep it there for, uh, eight, for, 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 for three weeks. That's after two days trying try, to try, try $1,100 to keep that car. And I went to the police, and they said, oh, well, you know, you shouldn't have left the car there. They have a right to do that. Really? They have a right to do that. They have a right to overcharge me. Oh, I also put in negative reviews on Yelp and on them, and also the, the Better Business Bureau. I've also, I also put a complaint in them over, over your, 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 your worth ethics and what you've done to me. So, uh, Good luck with your business, bro. I'm, I'm um, you know, seeing it. I'm, see, I'm, I'm kind of psychic. I'm seeing like in a year. And you'll be struggling just as much as I am. Law of attraction, which you put out, comes right back to you. Because I never hurt anyone. I've never hurt anyone in my life. Right? I've never I've done anything but, but heal people and help people in my life. And now that I'm stuck in the place that I am, uh, I find myself in the hole. Um, all I find is people uh, kicking more dirt in my face, uh, uh, pu pushing me even further down, and, and taking the little money that I have left to, to work with, and pulling it the fuck away from me. And, and you know, you pulled away the one thing that I was able to sleep in, my car. Now I sleep in a sleeping bag in uh, wherever, wherever they don't tell me to, uh, to move on. Because you can't sleep because it's private property. You remember that. It's called the law of attraction. And you, you called, uh, you said that, uh, I said, uh, I said on, on one of the comments, I said, you know, John Lennon's you know, in some karma. And you said, yeah, John Lennon is the other hippie. You know, fuck you, hippie. You know, you fucking, you know, druggy hippie. Uh, uh, go, go to hell, man. You know, uh, you know, I got your car. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> you know, that's what I did about it. Good luck with that, bro.